I'm NASA's Dan Hewitt, and I am taking you behind the scenes of a Soyuz landing. That's a spaceship. It was just in space, like 20 minutes ago. Let's go check it out. Flashback initiation in three, two, one. So we are at Ellington Field right now. It's about 6 a.m. and it's departure day. Getting ready to go pick up Tim Kopra from Kazakhstan right after he comes back from space. And in less than 24 hours, I'm gonna be on the other side of the planet ready to pick up an astronaut in the middle of the desert. So pretty exciting. I'm gonna bring you guys along for the ride. Let's go. Absolutely stunning outside. It is currently 1.45 in the morning here in Norway. That looks like four in the afternoon to me, so it's kind of crazy for us right now. But we're almost to Kazakhstan. After just about 19 hours of travel, two stops in other countries, I don't even know how many time zones, we are now in Kazakhstan. Yes. Now we just gotta wait for the crew to show up too. And this is where jet lag really starts to hit you. It's landing day and I'm up and it's just after 4.30 in the morning, probably about four hours before I should be waking up right now. And I'm up way too early. So it's gonna be a bit of a long day, but it's gonna be really exciting. And in a couple hours, we're gonna head out to the airport, get on the helicopters and go watch a spaceship come down. <sighs> oh, come on. Oh. Ready. We are now back at the Karaganda Airport. About half of the NASA team came here about two hours before us. And they loaded up, they went out in the first wave. And we're gonna go get on ours and be right behind them couple of bare necessities that you have to have for every one of these trips. Water, earplugs, those things are loud. And lastly, the satellite phone. When I say we land in the middle of nowhere, we land in the middle of nowhere. No cell phones, no nothing, none of that works. Almost on. see is a very good reason why we land in Kazakhstan. Flat and empty for as far as the eye can see. Not to worry about hitting anything, landing in somebody's backyard or anything fun like that. There is a non-trivial amount of what I can only assume is horse poop. It's 
so I'm taking my way very carefully. Ugh. Yep, there's a big pile. All right. There is Sohu's. This is a spaceship, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go join the team. Ugh. There it is. It looks like Yuri's already out. And up next is Tim Peak. So again, at this point, they're pulling the crew members out one by one. And there we go, there's Tim. Two of the three out of the capsule now. Так, here we go. Tim Copra. So they're going to head off to the medical tent in just a little while and basically they'll just get a chance to acclimate a little bit more, change out of their Sokol launch and entry suits into some more comfortable clothing, and then we'll be heading home soon enough. So uh, always good talking to you, Rob, and that's going to do it for me from here out in Kazakhstan. I'm NASA's Dan Hewitt, and this is behind the scenes at a Soyuz landing. That's a spaceship behind me. This thing was in space like 20 minutes ago. I'm going to touch it. As you can see, I've changed into my very fashionable blue NASA flight suit. Always makes me feel like an astronaut whenever I get to wear this. Everybody in the helicopters wears one. Not always the most comfortable thing in the world, but definitely very cool to wear. More pockets than you could ever, ever kind of want. I usually find things from like four months ago every time I wear it again for the first time. Kind of like Christmas. Two spacewalks in two weeks? Check. Welcome to Space to Ground. I'm Dan Hewitt. 